Hi, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor. We love to travel for work and we're in Orlando today installing 3,000 feet of Nucor's light gray vinyl plank. Now we're going to show you the whole job, but make sure you stay to the end to find out how I was able to save my client almost $5,000 on this floor. So without any further ado, let's hit it. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be. Great outdoors, forever free. So we are in Orlando, Florida. Technically we're in Kissimmee, just outside of Orlando, right down the street from Mickey Mouse and Disney World here. And we are doing some of my favorite new core vinyl. Actually, I like this vinyl so much we're putting in today. I got some from my own house as well. We've done a little over 3,000 feet with stairs, the Disney themed Airbnb that we're installing the flooring in today. We've done the upstairs, the downstairs. It's just such a clean look now compared to the carpet that we had here before. Here is the Animal Kingdom room, probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. Not that I'm a huge Animal Kingdom fan, but I just think it looks really awesome. And of course, in all the bathroom doorways, as well as laundry rooms and everything else, we use no moldings anywhere. No moldings were used at all in the completion of the upstairs. So really nice, thick new core. It's a lot wider than the typical seven inch. This one is a little over nine, nine and an eighth. It's a nice product, really thick. Of course, it has their cork backing that they put on all their products. I believe it's 6.5 mil thick. It's a nice wide plank. That's my favorite thing about this floor. Well, besides the, the grayish color, I call it grayish. It's actually a gray and beige combination. More gray than beige, but it's really nice. And the wide plank makes everything look even bigger. It's a big house, but studies shown that wide planks on flooring, even in small rooms, tend to make the rooms look bigger. And as you can see here, this room just goes on forever feels really good when you walk on it. And the cool thing about this job that I'm gonna introduce is the new core stairs without the use of a stair molding. We have several videos on this staircase and many other staircases just like this one. Be sure to check it out because this is an awesome process on how to do staircases. And we even sell these noses just like this. Well, it's not technically a nose. It's actually nothing but the floor. You see here, that's all it is, is the floor. So what does that mean? That means that you're not introducing a separate nosing on the front that maybe sits on top of the floor. Maybe it comes loose. In some cases I've seen these moldings they call stair nose on the front of the floor actually fall off a lot from traffic. So we're not gonna need any of that. We're gonna have just the floor. And of course we have our no paint white risers. That means these risers are never gonna have to be painted. What you see is what you get. They get scuffed up, you wipe them off. No maintenance. That's why I love them. That's why my clients love them. We sell those as well to go with our staircases. And I tell all my clients, I beg my clients, I twist their arms, I do whatever it takes to try to persuade them to go with the base to finish off your floor. Don't do the quarter round. A lot of people use the quarter round because it's easier, it's cheaper. Base is definitely more work, but at the end of the day, it just makes such a difference. And as you see, looks really sweet. This is a square top. I call it the modern profile. It's a one by six. I always use the analogy, if you bought a Van Gogh or a Picasso, you wouldn't put a cheap frame around it. So you're putting a beautiful floor in, you gotta finish it off nicely. And the base is the picture frame to your piece of artwork. Wow, that's a nice floor. It's a wide plank, it's a thick floor. And guess what? My client was able to get this floor for almost half price. Originally, this was a 329 a foot vinyl plank flooring by Nucor. Online, they had it for 278. My client basically paid for it at that price. But when I went into the floor and decor store to pick something up, I realized they had lowered the price to $1.60 a foot. So I told my client they weren't allowed to purchase it for that price online, but I was able to go in the store and get them that floor at $1.60 a square foot. We redid the order, they ordered it, and they saved $5,000. So sometimes those online prices don't reflect the price that the store has. So always check the store before you pay for your floor. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out all of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install vinyl floors, laminate floors, staircases, and much, much more. If you're new around here, be sure to share this video, tell your friends and family, and of course, if you already haven't, take out your favorite floor mount and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.